my brother my sister are you feeling discouraged right now allow me to share something short with you in john chapter 5 verse 1 to 15 we see a man who had been an invalid for 38 years 38 years of his life going nowhere he was so discouraged discouraged to the point that when the master jesus christ asked him he said do you want to get well and the response which the man gave he said to jesus he said sir i have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred while i am trying to get in someone else goes down ahead of me now let us take note that the man didn't ask jesus for help instead jesus reached out to him the lord looked beyond his lack of faith the lord looked beyond his shortcomings the lord looked beyond his weaknesses you see the bible tells us in 1 john chapter 4 verse 10 he says this is love not that we loved god but that he loved us and sent his son as an atoning sacrifice for our sins this tells us that the man did not see jesus as the potential healer his mind was on the supposed curative power of the water his mind was set on the waters but sadly he was disappointed disappointed that he had no help no one was there to help him to get into the water when the waters were stirred by the angel he was disappointed that the people were always going ahead of him 38 years of his life going nowhere this man was discouraged my friend allow me to ask you have your eyes been on the circumstances around you because the truth is that you will get disappointed you see people will fail you situations will fail you the circumstances will fail you but there is one who will never fail you and his name is Jesus Christ he came to this man in his hopeless situation and he said do you want to get well he looked beyond his shortcomings you see my friend the lord looks beyond your shortcomings He said that it is not because we loved him but because he loved us he loved you and he sent his only son Jesus Christ the father loved you that he gave his only begotten son to die for you are you feeling discouraged my friend The Bible says in Jeremiah 29:11 He says for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans for welfare and not for evil to give you a future and a hope It says in Isaiah chapter 42 verse 16 and I will lead the blind in a way that they do not know in paths they have not known i will guide them i will turn the darkness before them 
into light, the rough places into level ground. These are the things I do, and I do not forsake them. It also says in Psalm 55, 22, Cast your burden on the Lord, and He will sustain you. He will never permit the righteous to be moved. Let us pray. Father, right now, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, I pray for your son. I pray for your daughter that are feeling discouraged right now. Lord, I thank you that you know the plans that you have. The plans that you have for your son. The plans that you have for your daughter. It is good plans. And Father, even as we come against every discouragement, for Lord, these are your promises, O oh Lord. You said you will lead us, O oh Lord, in ways that we do not know, ways that we have not traveled before. You will lead us into these ways. You will guide us. Oh Lord, these are your promises. You said you will turn the darkness into light and the rough places into level ground. So Lord, I thank you. Even as we cast every burden unto you, Lord, your promises are you will never forsake the righteous. So Lord, every discouragement, in Jesus' name, we rebuke it. We come against it, every plan of the enemy to weigh your son, to weigh your daughter down. We come against it right now. And Lord, I pray that your son, your daughter will arise in this hour. For it says in Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1, Arise and shine for the glory of God is shining upon you. Heavenly Father, thank you for your promises are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Heavenly Father, we do not look to situations, but we look unto you, the author and the finisher of our faith. Lord, I thank you for the plans that you have for your daughter, for your son. It is good plans and only by faith, O oh God, are they going to be accomplished. Only by faith, O oh Lord, that they will be fulfilled, O oh Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus Christ. This we pray and we believe. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.